Got that retro vibe right here. Yep. Let's say we Ooh, want 80s. Big old sweeper. Oh, yeah. 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 This is my style. Welcome back to Undiscovered, where we highlight artists we think deserve more attention. Today I'm going to be showing Ryan a very interesting album. I think it's one of a kind. It is a Choose Your Own Adventure album. Oh, here's song one. Okay. Called World on Fire. I'm intrigued. I heard this person before. Yeah. No I think I knew who it is. No So good. I love it. So clean. Dark lyrics here. Yeah. Hmm. That snare drum, man. Tone. This artist is iconic for their snare sound in my 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 mind. Nice. So chill. Like the incorporation of you know it's almost like a, I guess a grand piano, yeah, piano on that. Yep, nice. But the story goes really deep on this album. That's what's really cool That's about cool. the choose your own adventure thing. So I'm going to explain that a little bit too. The first four songs are the same no matter what, and then after song four, 
you're able to choose, do you want to go with Oblivion, which is one of the albums, or Rebirth? Really And cool. they each tell a different story, but we're going to listen to all 12 songs so awesome That's this is song two cool it's idea. called it's called the answer yeah. who do you think it is by the way we will cut this part yeah this is a new album awesome yeah, this is song two it's called the answer oh yeah hand it up a bass Round one, bite. <laughs> mm. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Saw it in a shirt the other day. Almost bought it. This is dope. Totally Mortal Kombat, like you're saying. Mm hmm. Or like the 1995 movie Hackers. Who five? And there's 1991. <laughs> I should explain too that the vocals that you're hearing are separate from the artist. So the vocals are a feature. Super cool. This sound selection is just so good, man. Mm -hmm. Sick. Totally driving fast at night vibes. Yep. Demons ripping, tearing, pulling, pushing me out of the base sound, man. So good. Welcome back to Wave React, where we serve pan flutes and pan pizzas. interesting choice to make that like the hook mm -hmm. really cool An arpeggiator it was all about that pan mm. one more again and follows the vocal. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
really cool. This song is called Chaos Across Light Years. This one's a jammer. Mm. Opening up there, panning. Ah, uh, yeah. Big old wide pan. That was. Panning's covering the square footage of a residence. Hmm. Hmm. But perfect name definitely gives me chaotic vibes, anxiety Just inducing. Like, yep. Feels like the tempo just increased too a little bit. in that pan flute all the bends but yeah it's pitch bend I love putting this on when I'm working man I was just gonna say I need to listen to this tomorrow when I'm working yeah vibes when you're trying to I'd be like this code yeah I do I feel like I'm trying to escape the code. <laughs> AI is running after me. I'm like, no! Must save humanity! We need a green screen back here to yeah. listen. Because <laughs> right now, we're Neo in the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> you were dodging bullets. I was plugging in. <laughs> <laughs> That was so cool. That was like the pan flute chop. Wasn't yeah, it? which everything nice. glitched. Harmonic glitch. Just love the expression on that. Those pitch bends make such a difference. Mm -hmm. Things aren't ending on a good no. Whoa. <sighs> that was sick. That ending was sick. Yeah, the BPM on that, man. Whew. Get Up you there. going. Cardio inducing. <laughs> High heart rate inducing. Work out to that, folks. Or hack. Hack to that. The song's called Awaken. This is the last song before we're going to choose our adventure. Awaken. So 
So now we have jumped way into the future. They're coming out of the crowd. Yeah. One of them is, both of them. Yeah. It's been like 900 years. Oh. A little bit of time passed. So they are the only two humans who are, as they know it, left on Earth. Don't, they're not like floating through space. Or no. They were frozen on Earth, lasted for way too long, and now this is where they have to choose rebirth or oblivion. Give me a search for Echo vibes. Totally. Like that wave. Mm -hmm. Wave react, everybody. <laughs> Eagle-eyed viewers of the channel, I've worn this artist shirt a whole bunch of times. Yeah, surprised I didn't have it on now. <laughs> it was dirty today. Wouldn't stop me. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Okay. Sounds so crispy. Hmm. Dope. I can just imagine waking up 900 years later and just like seeing the sun. Yeah. Just the haze of it all. Like, what just happened? Right. Why do I hear a flute? Who's playing that? Everything seems. Weird. Really cool. Which way are we going, man? Rebirth or Oblivion? First. Go dark first. Oblivion. I feel like that's going to be the darker. We can end it on hopefully a positive. Really crazy idea. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So this is song one off of Oblivion, called I'm, this is song one off Oblivion, it's called I'm Doing Fine. I think he's not doing fine. Ooh. Got that retro vibe right here. Yep. Let's say we won 80s. Big old sweeper. Oh, yeah. 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 This is my style. Switch up in vocals too. Mm -hmm.
bass sound. Even got the hey. I didn't catch it. Oh, you didn't hear it? This time. Feel Man, good. I love, I love this. Mm. Feel good synth wave. Carson. Ooh. He's just honed yeah, so much, so many things, man. And the mix is really good, too. Oh, yeah. Killer mix. Filter. Mm -hmm. But I'm not afraid. I've got the strength of the wind. There's no turning back, and I'll be there right up to the end. I'm doing fine without my heart. I love how he strips stuff back like mm -hmm. this. Sound so thick. You hear it that time? Yeah. So sick. Mm. Mm. Drum fill there. Mm. So much expression, I can't get over it with the bends, man. The word for the episode, expression. Yeah, it just adds so much, though. Like, it's, ah, gets me. get lost in these songs because that does not feel like a five minute 19 minute song really cool yeah really i cool. love the vibe change up there like the 80s synth pop yeah sick that feel good side of synth wave i feel like we've been for the most part yeah it's been a pretty dark darker, dark vibe yeah. and Which i think is... he's a darker artist i'd say when it comes to yeah. like synth wave you know yeah which is, um, yeah, that's why it took me by surprise. I chose Oblivion. I thought it was going to go darker. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe we got it ahead of us. Too. I mean, it could just be that instant, like, relief of we're <laughs> right. in a really bad situation, but I'm out of the one that I was in before. <laughs> right, right. So. Or it could be, you know, the optimism. Nothing bad has happened yet. Maybe there's, like. Or just the shock of, like, yeah, like, uh, I'm fine. It's going to be cool. Yeah. But I'm good. I'm good. I don't know if you're good. This song is called Not All That Glitters. That's what I was saying. Optimism there, and now they're like... Finding out. Ooh. It's storming. So it still storms 900 years in the future. I mean, I would hope so. So it keeps the plants growing. Or that could be the leaking suns of the pool that's on the roof in the 1995 movie Hackers. Who on the roof must have a leak. You know? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. A little detune there. Ooh. 
Ooh, the ooh, painting. Ooh. That tickled. Ooh. Ooh, that was sick. <laughs> Little flex right there. Switch up in the hi hat. Different. Bring Panny back in. <laughs> Come on back. Nice little tune. So well from that last song, the confidence is fading. Yeah, feel like still there a little bit. Bending and glitching. <laughs> so cool. I hired these pan food guys, so they're awesome. On, yeah, they're on stuff now. Huh? I'd love for them just to follow me around all day. We can bring them in like at any time. You know, like, welcome back to Wave React. <laughs> is, is their name Andre 3000? <clears throat> How'd you guess? <laughs> crazy that was awesome yeah man so this one is called immortal Imagine flying up to the sun, the grid line road moving, synth wave sun. Look cool.
drums slap man but the two features on this are they the same throughout mm -hmm. awesome yeah good choice Again, that synth feed following the vocal theme is so killer. Curious to know how it works for. Because I'm pretty sure the vocalist lives. I want to say like Nashville. I, I don't know, but I think you know, it's done remotely. Right. Uh, so I wonder, you know, like I wonder if the producer has notes or like, hey, I could, you know, you want to do this? Yeah, that too. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think about that. I mean, it could be like a live. You could do video chat. Sorry, I got in interrupted by the sexual healing. I'll come back to my thoughts. Dude who rips the sax solo in Midnight City from M83. Yeah, that's him. Same guy? Yeah. Awesome. Dang. Great land. What I was saying is, yeah, I, I just wonder, like, you know, does he send it, does the producer send it over with some notes or, like, hey, I want you to, you know, follow this or, I don't know, it'd be cool to be a fly on the wall for that process. That saxophone player is Joe Barry. And so he does the live stuff with M83 too? Uh, I don't know if he is there touring tours with them, but I know that he was he was the one who recorded on uh, uh, Hurry Up, I'm Dreaming. Yeah, Midnight City. Yeah. Sick, because that, I mean, that kind of takes us all full circle. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what got me into, if you guys don't know. Uh, so synthwave, this genre, that's what got me into the midnight. Who we featured on Undiscovered. Check that out right here. Yep. Cause I was on a Reddit thread of that M83 Midnight City song and saxophonist ripped it in this live version. And one of the comments was like, if you enjoy this, you're going to love the midnight. And I was like, oh, let me check these guys out. And that opened a whole, whole lot of stuff started because yeah. of that <laughs> Reddit crazy. thread. Let me just tell you. That's really cool. Yeah, man. So. Huge feature, uh, super cool that Great you were able to get that. Um, this is the last song on Oblivion. I was wrong. It actually has five songs. This one is called You. They're such a good duo, man. Mm -hmm. When every last breath and shimmer escape the hollow of your heart, I'll still be here to rebuild it from the start. Ooh.
can you carry on if the pain evaporates the very fabric of your soul base will still be here to make each other whole i can feel the breath of the wind through the fire and the smoke burned and bleeding lifting up and trying not to choke Can't you see all you need is me if you're going to break through Okay. Not what I expected. I think of all of it, I think it's my favorite. Yeah. Although I did like that I'm feeling fine or I'm fine. Yeah. I'm doing fine. Back one up here. cool things in that so oh. we chose our own adventure you chose oblivion we are going to listen to the other side though that we're going to listen to rebirth as well back in time <laughs> i choose what is it? Daydream? What was that? rebirth rebirth <laughs> this song is called my heart is a galaxy oh, so the album covers are different yeah interesting Change here. Yep. The last two humans left. You gonna accept your fate or are you gonna make more than two humans? Did he release all this at once? Yep. Yeah, and the way the release went, like I said, is on both copies. I think first four songs, and then oh, okay. and then it splits. Gotcha. It was different for Oblivion and Rebirth.
melody of that synth line. Mm-hmm. Lead. Everything's just so lush. Good word for it, yep. Like, all the instrumental breaks and when everything calms down, just all the filters and everything. The warm. It's so polished and yeah, mm-hmm. warm. Mm. Drum fills are always so good. a cool line and a cool name for a song my heart is a galaxy super cool what do you mean it's like really big and mysterious and physic don't make sense in it and stuff yeah thanks for breaking it down there no problem <laughs> I have pan food in my heart you this one's called happy okay mm-hmm So cool that he did two different covers, man. I saw the label he released it through. They actually did a vinyl pressing too, so you can get either both on vinyl. Okay, so that's, there's two. For some reason, I was thinking they did three releases, like the intro. And then the other. No, the, so it's two, and then yeah, both have the same first four songs, and then that's cool. Blitz it to after that. Coder. They cool vocal production here. Just about to say that. <laughs> Don't we all, man? It's gonna be okay. You know? Hmm. Guitar. Gilmore. <laughs> you know, it's 64 more days until next year's hockey trials. I gotta toughen it up. Hmm. <laughs> mm.
Digging these vibes. Me too. So, my apologies if I pronounce this wrong, but I think it's synesthesia. Synesthesia. It's the thing where you see sounds as colors. I know that. Synesthesia is what I was Synes Syne I'm sorry. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. Here we go. Hmm. I can see colors now. Not gonna lie, on both these albums, whenever we went into the future with uh, Storm and this sound, I feel like I'm on the Lost Island, bro. 900 years in the future. Fact. Ooh. bringing that bass and then mm -hmm. mm -hmm. seeing the colors of the sounds Hendrick man has this song with the same name still cool term I feel like it's a creative I, I don't know I kind of think like that sometimes or like use that as descriptor a descriptor I don't know loved his drums before and mm -hmm. it's like oh, check out this these awesome new ones we're in the jungle love the sampling I'd like to know if uh, you did that yourself mister if you're watching Gordon back I'm hurley out getting the food drop Polar bear. Some Dharma food. Dharma fish biscuits. Wow. Hmm. to work to this smoke monster's not gonna get me i'm glad i put off listening to this i saw when he dropped it i was into some other albums at the time been wanting to bring it for a while i kind of thought you would bring it waiting so for the fun. right time yeah i had to take it in myself first nice. it's been out since like the end of august and that's cool mm -hmm. i'm reversed yep I guess it's got some reverse on it. Nice. 
kind of like some diva scent there too. Where's John Locke? Can't think of all the instrumentals. I can see why I named it that because it was definitely like a journey. Totally. I'm just going to let it go into this last song here. This one is called Alive. Alive. Dead. Bring it up. It's more beautiful than I can describe. I cannot wait to start over with you. Let's do it. Euphoria, eternal summer in bloom. All the colors are bright with you here in another life. Two fire last songs on both albums. Yes. <laughs> Way to end it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Vocal sample of her. Yep. There's so much pain going on mm -hmm. all over the place. You're watching this. Put on headphones. Worth it. Always. Nice. Oh no. I found Jacob. Come on. Think something bad's gonna happen. Really cool to have like I don't know felt so good but even if you were in this situation it's still like 
man, we're way in the future. We're probably the only two people left. So I'm just gonna say like, <laughs> it is like, yeah, I feel, uh, I feel alive. I am alive, but dang. <laughs> hey, at least you don't got taxes, so. Yep. But hope you can get some food. Hopefully there's still some animals around and plants. Yeah. <laughs> really sick. Really sick. Yeah. So that, like I said, was Ocean of Time, Oblivion, and Rebirth by Shadow Runner. Runner. Shadow, yep. Boss. Great work. Shadow Runner is a synthwave artist. Um, this is his, I believe, third release. Uh, shout out to Shadow Runner, man. Huge, huge fan Killed of it. his. Um, the growth. Yeah, man. Crazy. Crazy. Really, really good. And I, songwriting and. Just the whole concept. Yeah. Really cool. I mean, and choose so, your own adventure. Like, yeah. Wild. Really, this, really innovative. So, you know, we always talk about how we're fans of themes and concept albums yep. and stuff, but to just to take it to like that whole next level and develop, you know, two completely separate storylines. And then shout out to Trenton, who was the male vocalist who was featured on a lot of those songs. Um, the female vocalist, forgive me for not having her name, was Ivy Marie. But okay. uh, he, Shadowrunner and Trenton have collaborated a whole bunch uh, on his last record as well. And they just, like I said, work so, so well together. So shout out to Shadowrunner. Hope you're watching this, man. Uh, huge fan of that album. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm stoked to listen to it more. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, for sure. If you guys like videos like this, be sure to check out some of the links in our description. We will catch you in the next video. Yep. Appreciate it. Peace. Later.